We're on my soul, sisters. Let me hear y'all flow, sister. Hey, sister, go, sister, soul, sister, flow, sister. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your sister, Union in the house today, and I have a very special guest today. Jane, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi guys, I'm a makeup artist. I'm a global makeup artist at Amor Pacific. Today I did Uni Unni's makeup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jenny inspired how, how you like that makeup look. Yes, I'm so excited guys. So you guys are going to be able to see how we pulled off this beautiful I don't know if it's beautiful, but I think it's beautiful, so... <laughs> yeah, you're beautiful. Thank you, thank you. So you're gonna see how Jane transformed me into a Jenny's, how you like that. So yeah, we have a lot to get through, so mm. let's get started. Yay! Okay, so what are we gonna start with? Okay, we're gonna start with the base makeup. Mm. As you can see, Jenny's um, face is a little more lighter this time. Yeah, it's so, very yeah. like pale. Yeah. She looks like a sexy Dracula almost, kind of. <laughs> yeah, sexy Dracula. Uh. I'll make you into a sexy Dracula. <laughs> I like it, okay. okay. So I've got all these foundations in front of me mm -hmm. and I'm going to test 21, okay. 23 first. Okay. 21. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to see her reaction. <laughs> Um, so this is 21, okay. 21 N1. The N stands for neutral. Ah. So we've got three tones. Um, cool tone, warm tone, warm tone. Oh, warm tone. Warm. Is that the New Zealand accent? <laughs> Try a 13. Wow. So three shades. <gasps> the last one looks really bright. Yeah. Mm. Start with 23. See, I feel like this is a little more darker than her actual skin this is cool i think people will learn how they, to test it too because i don't but it's like personal preference as well ah, i see i see and then that's a 13. Ah. so the best way of finding the foundation shade that fits for your skin is uh -huh. the shade that disappears into her skin ah. so I don't know, I think you're somewhere between this one and that one so mm. it's probably like 17 would be your normal foundation I hope it's not too pale, but oh. that's the look we're going for today. Cause You're it's gonna not make like... me sexy, right? <laughs> you better make me sexy, like into a sexy vampire. So much pressure. <laughs> I just like to make my foundation brush really flat. Yeah, oh. and I've seen a lot of people just apply it like straight away. But yeah. You need it. You do that. Yeah. You need to like make sure that the foundation goes like deep inside. The brush oh i see yeah and it takes time to do that so you need to like really like make it soak it up uh-huh mm. and some people leave this in a plastic bag oh. and then um they leave it for like not some people actually i do that as well mm. i leave the foundation in and then i leave it for a day and then i wash it again and the brush goes all like soft and nice really yeah yeah, because I've seen, okay, the only time I've gotten my makeup done often was mm -hmm. back in the days. I used to be like a Korean rookie actress. Mm -hmm. So I would really? only... Yeah. Oh. So... So, <laughs> so have oh. you watched Itaewon Sarin Sakon? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Really? So I'm like the awkward, awkward Kyonosa oh there. Oh my Yeah. <laughs> So some people they're like, I'm so honored right now. <laughs> some people they're like, Eunice, is this you? And I'm like, yes, don't tell anyone. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go search it up. It's so my by acting so awkward though. So it's so awkward. I'm so embarrassed, so I don't like say to me. I feel me. like I remember, but then I'm not sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go home, watch it everyone. My <laughs> acting's horrible. But anyways, I think the only time I got my makeup done is mm -hmm. by makeup artist mm -hmm. before I go to a meeting with like a producer. So oh, I right. never did these fun types of makeup. It was regularly just like the basic ones, you know? Um, I, before I apply the foundation, I'm just going to get rid of all her redness because I recognize that there's a little redness on her yeah. skin. And I'm going to be using Hera's Magic Starter, mm. which is like a base um, primer. Mm -hmm. And it's I'm going to use the green color mm -hmm. because to, to neutralize your redness oh yeah i see that and this is really not covered a lot sometimes i have to do really thick concealer all oh, right so this will be a great idea to use a primer yeah. this way huh yeah mm, interesting to know <gasps> wow mm. it's not like completely gone but 
but it canceled yeah. out the redness here. Mm -hmm. Hey, it, I, if I am just gonna go out to the grocers or something, I, this looks nice. It yeah, really yeah, just yeah. looks like a tone yeah. up. Yeah, and if you have like yellowness, I recommend the pink one. Uh huh. Mm. Oh, interesting. This is really nice. Yeah. And, and it makes me look like I have a really nice skin. Mm -mm -mm. Like that glow. It's got that glow, like little pearls, but it's like very shimmer. Oh. But it's really, really like subtle. So oh, I like it. Yeah. Mm. Okay, now I'm going to apply foundation. Okay. I'm going to start from the top of your cheeks. Oh, this feels so good. I feel like I'm getting pampered. Ooh. Okay. <gasps> it doesn't look that pale, right? Pale. Yeah. The reason why I start with her cheeks is because like it's got the thickest skin there. Mm. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You want to start with where you have the most thickest skin mm -hmm. and then you want to like use the rest of the foundation on mm. the um, uh, thinner skin. I see. Yeah. Mm. If you do it the other way, then your face looks really flat. Mm. Mm. I'm just going to apply powder lightly just to set the makeup. If you see Jenny's makeup, it's mm. very um, matte. Like, right. Yeah. Now, we're going to do the eyebrows. Okay. Yeah. I want her, I want your eyebrow shape to go a little bit more uh, uh, arched. Arched, mm. yeah. Jenny has such a beautiful like face. It's like mm. cute but sexy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You kind of look like Jenny. No. Did you ever hear that? I mean, I, <laughs> no, no, but you no, know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, I'll apologize <laughs> to the fans. <laughs> She's like, no, but you have like the image. Now we did the eyebrows. I feel it. Really? I'm, I'm Jenny. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jenny. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be using these two eyeshadows. Mm -hmm. They're both matte. The reason why I'm using a dark, a darker shade, a darker, a darker shade. shade, is because I want to create like dimension in your eyes mm. and really create that depth. So we did create dimension in her eyes. Her eye eyelids are very brown now, mm -hmm. and we're going to apply the red mm -hmm. on her under eyes, just like how yes. Jenny did. Um, make sure you have enough red on your eyeshadow mm -hmm. and then just find the middle part and then just tap it first and then move downwards mm. but I think the key is to don't like apply too much from the beginning mm. make sure you do it like very softly and then add more so we were just talking about how um, she has the same look, but in her music video, like the shadow is more like the it's more wide. It's more wider. Yeah, well, it like, goes more outwards. Right, and yeah. this one, this particular picture, she goes more narrow. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go for that kind of wide look because it just suits me better. So as you can see, Jenny's eyes are. She used a black eyeliner. Mm. She normally uses brown for daily makeup, but for this one, I think she used black. Mm. So I'm going to use black. When you're doing your makeup or even someone else's makeup, mm -hmm. wear a puff at the end of the mm. pinky and then it does, prevents from smudging. So I'm going to fill in the gaps between the roots with the eyeliner first. One tip that I would give you is like roll it on the lid. Wow. Yeah. I've and never make seen Make sure this. you only have like a little bit. Oh. Or you can do it on your like nails as well, but oh. it just makes it easier. So now we're going to do the last part of the makeup, which is the lips. The lips. Yeah. And Ooh. I'm going to be applying Hera's Sensual Spicy Nude Balm mm -hmm. and then a gloss on top. Mm. The packaging is so pretty. We were yeah. saying that it looks like nail polish almost. It's mm. so pretty. It's really popular and oh. I really like this because it's got a plumping effect. Ooh. So I'll just apply mm. it straight on your lips from the bullet. It is plumping. Yeah, that's right. But like in a good way. Yeah. It doesn't tingle or anything. Mm -mm, it's just like, mm -mm. oh my gosh, I like it. Oh, it feels so good. Mm. And then I'm going to apply the... 
Sensual Spicy Nude Gloss. Mm. It's the same product, but with the, in a gloss type. Mm -hmm. And this is called Speechless. And I'm just going to apply like a very thin layer just to... Ooh, such a pretty color. Mm. It's going to like um, mute down the color a little bit mm. because it's slightly more brownish. I think we're done with the lips now. And we just want to spray the ma uh, the makeup fixer mm. just to set all your makeup. Okay. I love our fixer because it smells really good. Yeah. It's got coconut oil inside <gasps> it. I oh, think. I like coconut stuff. Mmm. Mmm. All right, guys, so we are done with the makeup and we're gonna be changing into the outfit and we're gonna try to recreate the look with the hair and the whole shebang. Mm -hmm. So, yes, let's do it. Very excited. Yay. Let's go. guys this is the final look yes the jenny inspired look i hope you guys are filling it with the <laughs> nails the outfit and the hair and the shebang i had so much fun did you have fun today? yeah i had so much fun as well you are becoming more jenny yes Tony. Yeah. Tony. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> we named her Tony, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoy this Jenny inspired makeup of how you like that. <laughs> and we're gonna have other collab videos very soon as well. So don't forget to follow Jane on her Instagram and her information. I will leave everything in the description below. And Jane, do you wanna say anything? Um, thank you guys for watching. Aww. And if you guys have any more questions, feel free to ask me. Like you can DM me or you can email me or whatever. Yes. And I'll answer your questions. And I'll I'm hoping to do another co um, collab with Union Ni any soon. Yeah. Yes. So if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. No, Jenny won't see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>